Welcome back to another Airstream video tour. I'm Chris. And I'm Aaron. And today we are looking at the 2020 Airstream Atlas. Let's check it out. So yesterday we were getting a routine service done on our van at Mercedes-Benz of North Scottsdale and they actually also sell Airstream touring coaches connected on the same property and we got a chance to talk with Tom Bartlett and Kevin Steele who is their brand manager and he kind of showed us around a little bit and they're allowing us to look in this 2020 Airstream Atlas. So if you're new to our channel, my wife and I are full-time RVers in a 2014 Airstream Interstate and we wanted to look inside the bigger version, which is the B plus, the Atlas version. What do you think so far? You can feel the plus. <laughs> it feels bigger in here. It feels very spacious and to me it almost feels like a little mini hotel room. In in a grand way, like bigger than what we're used to in our interstate. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely very spacious. So we wanted to give you guys a perspective of this coach from full-time RVers that live in an Airstream interstate. We won't have 100% of all the specs and features. So let's get into this tour and check out the coach. So we're going to start in the front of the unit. Here we are in the cab. Again, this is the 2020 Atlas, and it has the new 2019 Sprinter chassis, which is awesome. If you haven't seen our tour video on the 2020 Interstate, you should check that out because we talk a little bit more about some of the features that are in the new 2019 Sprinter, and it's really, really nice. It feels like a nice modern Mercedes, and the seats are a huge upgrade. So enough with the front, we're gonna get right into the livable space of the coach that everybody wants to see. And I'll just start quick with this overhead storage bin. You get some space about this deep and it's a good amount of space. You can put a lot up there and there's a little cubby here that you can access. There's some electric panels that I'm gonna let Aaron talk about later. And then there's an outlet down there. Um, this does have the nice new marine flooring that's in all of the new Airstreams and it has the slide in right now. So what you're seeing right now is it fully slid in. This is how it would be when you're driving. This is how it would be when you don't have the ability to pop that slide out. And it's really spacious in here even with the slide in. So this lounge area has this nice sofa with some built-in cup holders. Um, this TV would pop up if you wanted to do some watching and some re resting and relaxing. And then your basic storage cubbies. You also have your nice aluminum top, which is an Airstream trademark. And this sunroof pop-up is really nice. It lets a ton of natural light in and that's something that we don't have in our interstate and it is just a really nice feature. Up front we have the main control panel that Airstream uses. I think it's called the C panel and there's actually three auxiliary panels in this coach aside from this one. So this controls basically all of your lights, your window covers, your climate control, your generator which has the auto start stop feature. Um, everything's pretty much programmable on these units. Inside this cabinet is the rest of the electronics and you can see it has the solar panel, the magnum inverter, uh, the power control system and the sea level tank monitoring system. Um, this one also has stabilizer jacks that come down just two stabilizer jacks and it also has a 3200 watt uh, Onan Cummins generator that starts in here. You'll notice the slide extend retract button is in here also. So let's open that up. Just like that, 
You have a living room. What do you think? It is roomy. I could actually do workouts in here. Yeah, a lot of space. So some of the big features of the Atlas is this Murphy flip down bed on top of this power sofa. So let's focus on this thing a little bit. We'll have Chris show you that. It's really slick to have the electric ottoman coming up. And I did test this out while the slide was in and you still can fully put this up without it touching that TV cabinetry over on the opposing wall. So this is fully functional, slide in or slide out. Um, very roomy with your feet out for people to walk back and forth. You could fit a lot of people in here, especially with your driver and passenger seats swiveled around. One, two, you could easily fit four people on this sofa, wouldn't you say? For sure. And then also this mirror, Keep in mind that when the bed is up, the mirror is a nice touch with the Airstream design and having the mirror really does make it feel a little bit more open. So having all of the windows in here, the sunlight in here, the mirror, it just does feel really open and spacious. And maybe it's just because I'm in an interstate and they're a little bit smaller, but the B plus, like you can definitely feel how much extra space it is. And also we should mention too, that since it is um, a little bit wider, so right off the bat with the slide in, it's definitely wider than what we're used to. So you, we can feel every inch of space when you come into something a little bit bigger. Before we get into night mode, let's get into, I guess, TV lounge watching mode with the power TV that comes out of here. You can see the controls. Yeah, it's nice that it's out of the way when you don't use it. The Bluetooth Bose speaker. It is, cool. yeah. And then you have that whole usable counter space when you're not using it too. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's check out the Murphy bed. Yeah. All right. So the first thing you got to do is just take these armrests off. The next step is to power down the sofa because the sofa will go flat and then the bed will just go directly over top of it. Then you use the latch systems. There's a latch here and a latch here that you need to pull in unison to get the Murphy bed down, which can be a little bit fumbly until you get the hang of it and then it's slicker than butter. So we have a mattress here with memory foam. There's zero contours. There's zero breaks in the mattress. It's solid through. And then you also have underneath these spring forms so that you get a more comfortable sleep in your RV bed. And then you also have this window behind you. You each get your own nightstand. There's reading lamps. There's USB ports here and a little headboard so then you can put your pillows and things and be right up like a real bed. You also have your aluminum ceiling up here, which again, those little touches just make it feel like home. Okay, so let's put this bed back together and we'll move on to the kitchen. So here in the kitchen, we do have another touch panel for your functions. You have outlet up here, some LED lights. You have this nice stainless steel aluminum backdrop window. And what catches my eyes right away is this beautiful sink, residential style sink with the sprayer nozzle and the removable counter board and a nice deep basin in here. This is a really nice sink. I'm a little bit envious of that. And in the back here, you have a trash bin compartment, which is pretty handy. So as you're food prepping, you just put your trash right in there. And then your classic RV two burner stove. And then with your cabinet space, you have a nice upper up here. You have your vent fan here for removing your smoke as you're cooking. And then cabinet space down below. This is a nice 
deep pocket. So I could definitely see some heavy pots and pans in there. Drawer space, sponge drawer, all lit up really nicely from these LED lights. And then on this stack, you have a drawer, another drawer, and then this drawer is really long. So you have a nice silverware container in here that is removable. And you gotta love these extendable counter spaces for just having it for prep is a huge deal to get that extra space while you're cooking. I love it. And on the other side of the kitchen, you have some additional storage space. Up top is a nice deep cubby and then a nice pantry and slide out for lots of different jars and spices and dried goods. You can fit a lot in there. You have your microwave, grill, convection, the whole thing. This refrigerator is really big. I always love a nice sized refrigerator. There's drawers and a nice big freezer. For the final part of the inside of this tour, I'm going to show you the closet space and the bathroom, which for me, being in this B+, I think the biggest wow factor is besides the bed and the fridge is the bathroom. So if the wet bath in the interstate is just too tight for you, this larger bathroom is a huge upgrade in space. So it's a full walk-in bathroom and it is just like a residential style dry bath. So you have toilet, you have some cabinetry, there's a second fan for in the bathroom, which is nice. The shower is massive and the shower is quite beautiful and it's lit up really nice. You have your sink with more cabinetry and your medicine cabinet with a nice size mirror. And all of this space in here, it's really something that people take for granted unless you don't have it. So to be able to have all of this space in a medicine cabinet is really nice. We'll continue to the closet area. You have another touch screen and some climate controls, outlet, nice cedar in this giant closet. You can fit a lot of clothes in here. Our like pillows and bedding is what they currently have in here. Automatic lights. Another big wardrobe closet. Again with the cedar in the back. This is removable so you could hang your clothes. You can actually hear the echo because it's so deep in here. Nice deep drawers. Let's see inside of the shower. So Aaron at six feet two fits in there nice and comfortably. Yeah. No more crouching down. Mm -hmm. A little tight on the elbows, but a lot different than a wet bath. That's for sure. At least you can stand up straight. Yeah. It's probably six, maybe six, five, six, five in here roughly so pretty good for a, a van yeah um and the wood paneling and the residential style faucet it's super nice what do you think about the bathroom it's like half the size of our van it's a big bathroom a lot of the space goes towards the bathroom doesn't it absolutely yeah it's a, it's a good layout that they did between the murphy bed the sofa the tv that comes out and this whole back bathroom i can see why people would want this looking for a smaller luxury motorhome. So. so that was a brief tour of the inside. Hopefully you guys liked it and saw a little bit of a glimpse of what it's like to be inside of a 2020 Airstream Atlas. And let's go check out the outside real quick and just see what's going on out there. So this is the B plus and you can kind of see where the plus comes in. So you have your regular van chassis and then the plus. And the reason why it's not a C is because there's no overhead 
sleeping compartment up there. So this is a B plus. It's a good compromise between a larger C and the smaller van body. With the B plus, you get some outside storage, which we are very jealous of. So let's check it out. So that is a very nice finished outside storage unit there and you can just hear this door how it clicks and seals very nice um, the generator is underneath here and you can see there's no handles on these doors and what's cool about it is they have a locking mechanism that locks with your power door lock so if your vehicle is locked your cabinets are locked on the outside too. I thought that was a pretty cool feature. So the back of these is kind of impressive too. Whenever I see this, this just kind of makes me smile a little bit. This giant Airstream and that giant Mercedes, it just looks like the grand rear end of an RV. I love it. The whole coach is all automotive paint, it looks like, so there's no decals or graphics. That's actual paint on there, which looks pretty sharp. Another cabinet here in the back, which looks like the service wet bay, electrical power, macerator pump, outdoor shower. It's got the city water inlet um, and your propane fill down here too. So that's kind of the business end of the outside cabinets. This is your department back here. <laughs> Suburban hot water heater. Uh, slide has a slide cover up there. Um, the storage compartments on the slide bay come out with it too, which is nice. Something you see on high end class A's. See these pop up for storage. And all of these look like they're weather sealed. And then once again on the front, you can see the new Mercedes Sprinter styling. So it's the 2019 with the new front end, the new headlights the new air dam well that's about it for the tour we hope you guys enjoyed that brief look inside the 2020 airstream atlas and outside and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button if you did enjoy this video and we'll catch you next time